Hey YouTube land, we're back with another video. Today we have a little one pill driver. It's $122.90 for Tim. Tim ordered this box custom. He wanted something he could work uh, just a regular radio with and key his AL82. So we built him this one pill driver to drive his AL82. And uh, we've got a quarter inch plug. I went with a quarter inch plug Tim in the front because it's a lot more heavy duty than an RCA jack. And we got you a cable here that's several feet long that will plug right into your AL82. So when you key your mic, uh, and key the amp if your amp is in operation mode when you key your mic this is going to uh, drive your AL82 you key your AL82 and drive your AL82 as you requested got a little tongue tied there so anyway uh, we're going to show this the way this works for people that don't understand how a spectrum analyzer it is the spectrum analyzer is something that can show you where you're where you're transmitting okay and to properly do uh, uh, radio alignments and uh, most radio work you have to have proper test equipment if you don't have proper test equipment you can't do the job and it requires everything I've got here to do any kind of alignments on radios so I'm just you know um, reputable shops will spend money where you need to spend it to make sure you have the right tools for the job so anyway not gonna get into that but Today we're using a spectrum analyzer. We're going to show how this amplifier is spectrally pure. It's only transmitting where it's supposed to transmit. Now being AB biased, it's pretty much junk in and junk out. So if I have a trashy hacked up radio, then what goes into this amplifier is going to be trashy and, and hacked out. But we have a spectrally pure Cobra 29 that is, uh, has an HG1969 uh, final in it. Uh, that uh, to do the dirty work here and it's uh, pretty about as clean as clean can get so turn the volume down on the receiving radio real quick so what we're doing we got a hundred megahertz so the way this works we come out of our radio I don't want to get too far ahead into the amp out of the amp into the meter up here out of the meter through here and then this goes to the dummy load uh, this is an RF sampler this goes to the test equipment to uh, sample the RF to see exactly what's going on and so the way we're going to do this, we got a 40 megahertz, uh, we're using 40 megahertz for the center frequency this time because I wanted to split the, kind of split the difference between 27205, channel 20, where we're talking, and what's called the second harmonica 27205, which is 54410, uh, would be the second harmonic, which is going to be up here. So when I key the radio and key the amp, you're going to see a spike come up here. Right here it represents zero, zero megahertz, zero frequency. Right here is 40. Right in here is 27205. Right in here is going to be 54 megahertz, 54410. And that's the only two spikes you're going to see pop up. If there was anything else popping up, well then we got a radio that's dirty that's feeding this amplifier with something that shouldn't be feeding it. So basically I'm keying it and there you go. You've got your, uh, this is 27205. This is... Uh, 54410. We're keying it with about 24 watt dead key. Hello. We're modulating 100 watts. Hello. One 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 audio check check. So this amplifier is clean. What you're putting in it is what you're going to be getting out of it. Now there's a lot of hype around there because you know we talk about uh, AM properly being measured in PEP mode that if you're running clean meaning pretty close to a 4 to 1 in this case 24 watts swinging 100 maybe 100 plus you know somewhere around 105 percent modulation that it won't be loud okay well basically we can bust that myth by having a receiving radio that has absolutely nothing hooked to it the Kenwood here you can see the S unit, the RF gain's all the way up. Everything's all the way up. This radio has, even have the preamp on. So we have superb uh, receive. So we're simulating somebody putting a one S unit. Hello, audio, one, two, one, two. Swinging up there about uh, S4. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this volume up. Hello, radio. Hello, radio, check, check, one, two, one, two, audio, one. And so basically that represents, uh, if you was receiving this station a uh, good way away with a 5S unit, uh, what the audio would sound like. Hello, radio. Nothing weak about properly tuned, guys. Uh, these guys that saying they've tried properly tuned, scope tuned radios, whoever tuned their radios, if they didn't have any audio, well, then there was another problem because 100% modulation is not quiet. It's loud. 
and that's just the way it is so anyway we wasted five minutes of your time i got to get back busy uh got lots of projects coming up uh several two by eights uh guys are waiting on i've got uh uh, a couple of a five pill and a four pill still left that the guy was waiting on before we open up the uh, the floodgates on the amplifiers. I've got some power supplies coming due, a 300 amp, a 1,000 amp. Still got Steve Mann stuff. You guys know just because I don't name your name doesn't mean anything. We, we know where we're at and we're working hard to get you done. So uh, got lots and lots of good stuff coming up. You guys stay tuned. And if you want to quote for something, don't hesitate uh, to use the links uh, below. Uh, call or email and uh, we'll definitely quote you up something and uh, you know we're busy busy man we stay slim so uh, y'all have a good one be safe be uh, careful and be kind and we'll catch you next time I'm gone